we are here at this moment again let this moment be hallowed in your presence let your word make meaning to our hearts and give us the right interpretation and through the word and through prayers today oh lord everything that need to be recovered shall be recovered thank you lord because you have answered in jesus mighty name we have prayed Shout hallelujah. We have read two Psalms this morning. The first Psalm 57 that was read in the Bible verse, you will see that that Psalm is a Psalm calling unto God for mercy asking god be merciful unto me O god be merciful unto me for my soul trusted in thee yea in the shadow of thy wings will i make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed there are times and seasons in lives that we are faced with calamities that we are faced with tough time and the essence of the calamities problem tempters is to overturn god's purpose over our lives if you look at uh, verse 11 of that scripture the verse 11 of that place says sorry not verse 11 now if you look at it Verse 3 says, He shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that will swallow me up. God shall send forth his mercy and truth. Now you can see that there are powers that are out to swallow us. To swallow us up our glory. So this morning, it is still seasons of our 30 days prayer and that's why everything is going to end in some serious prayers because we'll be not will not be coming uh, in the evening after the morning session on sundays then the prayer session has ended for that day now i'll be speaking on deliverance from glory wasters deliverance from glory wasters hallelujah psalm 137 something happened some sections of the israelites were captured and they were taken to babylon they were taken to a strange land as captives and of course where they were kept at a particular time perhaps they were made to come and walk or to come and do some uh, task they now say that by the rivers of babylon there we wept when we remember zion they saw they could look at their lives when they were in their lands of i mean the lands of bath when they were in jerusalem they are the temple of god they are the priests of god but something have changed they made themselves now in a strange land and there was a me memory of the glory they have enjoyed in the land of their bath there is a, was a remembrance of the beauty of God, the mercy of God they have so much enjoyed. But you can see all this have changed now. And that's why they said, we wept when we remember Zion. We wept when we remember the land of covenants. 
we wept when we remember place that god has given to us as an inheritance we wept when we saw the glory land jerusalem was a glory land israel was a land of glory but now they have been taken as captives now they were now at babylon now to worsen the situation the bible says that look they could not sing they could not rejoice they hang their harps they hang their uh, instruments of songs now the enemy that captured them they said for they that carried us away captive they require of us a song now you see there are times you find yourself in a situation that people are asking for some things in your life in order to make jest of you come and sing us one of the songs of zion the song of liberty the song of the uh, that you sing to jehovah now these are the people who did not know the jehovah they did not know the yahweh god now they said come and sing us one of the songs of zion come and sing us the song of deliverance the song of freedom and they now say how shall we sing the lost song in a strange land hallelujah when the enemy captured Samson, then they brought Samson to the theater. They have removed the eyes of Samson. And they said Samson should make sports, should dance for them. A man that was anointed, a man that was having the strength of Jehovah, a man that was raised as a judge. To deal with the Philistines. But because he fell into the hands of the Philistines. He fell as a result of iniquity. As a sin. And so as a result. He was captured. Eyes removed. His strength was gone. His hair has been scraped. He was now powerless. Because he has exchanged his glory. His power. on the laps of Delilah my prayer for you this morning that that thing you lost so much will not kill you everything the devil is setting around you or putting in place around you is to extract your strength is to reduce you to nothing is to sap your power and there are many Christians today whether you are here you are hearing me online there are many Christians today that have lost their strength. They have lost their power. They have lost their glory. As a result of sin. As a result of iniquity. They have become powerless. What is that thing that has taken away your strength? Satan will bring pleasure around you. Satan will bring opportunities around you. But it is not from God. And they are there to I mean to sap your strength I was saying in the prayer meeting of uh, yesterday is it yesterday or for yesterday I said you see there are times you enjoy victory in the yester years but because of your carelessness the victories are lost and you are recaptured many things that we have prayed about that to break ourselves from the hands of the enemy but because we slip back into sin and when our strength is sapped our strength is gone the enemy will come back to oppress because the bible tells us when a demon is cast out of a person the bible says there is a power that sent out jesus was the one telling us that that when a demon is sent out of a person then the demon begin to go about in dry places after some times because the devil will not allocate another space for him are you getting my point now satan himself is a disciplinarian satan will say what were you doing before they send you out from that body 
I give you an assignment, you cannot keep your assignment. You are looking for a place to stay. And you will begin to go about no place to stay. And demons cannot operate without body. They need a place to reside. And Paul said, we'll be going through dry places. But after some time, said, let me go and check the house. You know, he said, my house. The house where I was sent out from. And if you now get to that place, and the Holy Spirit is not there, the power of God is not resident there. The Bible tells us, wow. So, I have been wasting my time when there is a place for me to repossess. But the Bible says, he will now go and invite seven more demons that are terrible more than him. Maybe those one also have lost their house and say, come, 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 we have got a house. We have got a place of abode. Say, they will come into the life of that person. Say, the hand of that person will be worse than the beginning. May that not be your story. Look at your head. I said, may that be not be your story. You see, that is one thing. You can look at a Christian and say, ah, that man used to be fine. He's a Christian. Is it not that? How did his life become like this? It is because the glory wasters were always or are always around him. The glory wasters are looking for a way to put him in the cage. To waste the purpose of God over his life. And because he was not keeping, I mean, his estate, he was not sensitive enough to keep himself in the will of God, in the way of God, and he slips into sin, he slips in iniquity, the enemy will take advantage of that fast. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. I said yesterday, I said, using my family as an example, that a friend, we were praying together, and when we were praying, I just know him, but thank God for the God's grace and gift in his life. And he just said, when they meet, we were praying, he said, man of God, your father had six sons. Give back to six sons. There is no way he could have ever known that my father has six sons. Praise God. I said, yes, six sons. He said, but you see, something happened. That in the River Rhine area, where your, the family of your fathers were, 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 were staying, that they went to buy a tuba of yam. And they cut this tuba of yam to six parts. Each one representing one son. <laughs> Praise God. My prayer for you is that God will open your eyes. The secret of the battle around your life may be exposed. In the name of Jesus Christ. It says so that they now took these six tubas of yam. They went to the midst of the sea. And because my, I mean, this person talking because if my father's, you know, a mother says that we're doing all these things, they were residing at Akotobo, the river Rhine area. That is what their place of, of abode. And you know that that is the river Rhine area. Praise God. Now that they now took boats, they went to the midst of the sea. After they have done work, chanted. On all those yams, they went to go and draw them inside the midst of the sea. What is the meaning of that? All this destiny should be buried. All the destiny should be rotten. Because the yam that you put inside the ocean, what's going to happen to that yam? It's going to be rotten. That was what was done. That was what they did. Hallelujah. Now, you see that when we are praying some prayers it is because the roots many of us came from we don't look back if you look back there are things to deal with and thank god for salvation thank god for grace that almost all of us were born again that we are christians but you see the earlier everybody came to christ make a lot of difference in his life i don't know what i understand what i'm saying it makes a lot of difference in the life of that person. There are glory wasters. But when you are delivered like that, 
God revealed and Satan is disgraced and you are delivered if you slip back into sin that thing that they have done does not die because the demon that they sent on Aaron over that matter does demon die answer me church demons don't die when you slip back if we go into sin that power that we are delivered from they will come back and be and come the glory that was recovered can still be lost hallelujah i say hallelujah thank god for my dad my dad was a good man but so many things that his destiny represented could not manifest in his life amen somebody listen to me i told you yesterday i'm going to talk a little bit about my family my father was a teacher and you know when you say somebody is a teacher in those days my father was talented he was an orator even better than myself amen my my dad when my dad without traveling out of the country we speak queen's english hallelujah my dad if he wants to speak like an ijebu person he will speak ijebu without any problem if you want to speak an egba, he will speak egba without any, any, any problem. Without being an egba person. Of course, he's an Ijisha man. He can speak Ijisha. Of course, we are born in Akure. He will speak Akure. Tell me the language he wants to. He will speak it the way that it will drive home his point. Hallelujah. You see, there are times that a man has glory, but the glory could not be harvested somebody hearing me and that's why we were praying yesterday that i refuse to hang the way my father handed i refuse to go the way my mother you know i you know went it is a prayer it doesn't matter whether your father is still alive but your dad and your father they have exhausted maybe they have exhausted their strength what they are waiting for to benefit maybe from you the son the remaining portion of the enjoyment in life is in your hands but if the battle they fought through their lives if they could not conquer that battle and the battle is handed over to you and you cannot conquer that battle which means you want to hand over, hand over that battle to your own children may that not be your portion in jesus name as far as before i was born praise god my dad has been trading you know abroad online you know nigeria was good in those days are you listening to me he had he will import tower products tower tower aluminium products it was not in nigeria then it was from uk tower product through post office they will send it marketing it have a place to sell it despite being a teacher hallelujah now a man who has a understanding because of education to do that kind of trade there is a glory but they could not harvest it is somebody hearing me my dad was a person that politicians would be looking for being an orator my dad was not did not have a shop where they sell yam or foodstuff but all the women all the men that were full full stuff sellers especially yam sellers they made my father their secretary praise god because of his education he will not be the one to lead them they will come to Ibadan for meeting they will go to Abekuta for meeting they will go to Gomasho for meeting are you following me now? now that is strength that is glory but could not be harvested positively are you listening to me? I'm only telling you this that every family has stories 
there are glory that could be harvested by our forefathers but it eluded them shout hallelujah when politics started again is it not in 1990 what now praise god the shagari and whatever you know time 1980 what 83 or so praise god now now the p the the upn were pulling my dad to join them npn was pulling my dad to join them shout hallelujah praise god i think i've told you here that our house was born in 1966 during the wet air, our house was born actually my family my, my i mean my, actually my family were to be born i'm still putting some story together along that line shout hallelujah because the person they had a meeting party meeting was going somewhere because my dad would not join them and they decided to go and burn my mother but the number of our house is 16a the number of the person one of the masterminded of that thing is number 15 a facing hours and by the time those who are going to do that they describe that my mother was carrying a baby praise the lord and so they describe but when they were coming somehow heaven confused them you know god's mercy because if such things have happened now maybe i will not be on the pulpit preaching today shout hallelujah and the baby they were talking about then i was the one the baby that my mother was carrying perhaps going to about two years of age then shout hallelujah and they describe and uh, unfortunately the mother, the wife of the other man facing her house also was carrying a baby that we are almost of the same age at that time and so when they were coming they just forgot is it 16a is it 15a is it 16a is it 15a and they confused 16a to 15a they went straight to the house of that person hallelujah and the woman was just thinking that ah this and that you know because you know when you think that you belong to some camps and that's how they pour petrol on the woman they set her a place hallelujah and the woman died and when the man was coming later and they went to go and sympathize with him he thought that it happened to my parents and he said i did not send anybody i didn't send anybody then. by the time they knew that they made a mistake thank god for you know god's mercy we read about mercy my dad just had an instinct he was not born again having about seven children i mean about about seven six seven adopt i mean everybody about children seven or eight and the family of about a nine praise god in the house he just talk, told the, by the, my mom and everyone said this thing that happened is a mistake a mistake has occurred we must leave this house now and that's how they left the house by the time they were coming back as a retaliation they would have burnt the whole everybody in the house and when they got there we were not there that's how they burned the house 1966 praise the lord but at the time my brothers will, will discover at times that why didn't my father do politics well well you know there is at times you stay on the face it will not pay you praise god if he has done politics very well maybe it will yield for him you understand what i'm saying now, now if you do not join here you did not join and everybody believed that you are an active politician in 1983 again the same house was burnt hallelujah we were there amen and they came because npn wanted him to join them and of course upn also want okay the first one was uh, action group and uh, and ncnc this one now it is upn versus said now now he wanted upn wanting to join them he wasn't ready to join upn npn now he saw the kind of uh, the the stealing and terrorism. he's not ready to be part of them what was his uh, offense when they came they said he buys two newspaper every day one is concord newspaper and daily times because my father every day we were born right you know reading newspaper and so buying newspaper looking for forward for the news have been part of us now 
he that he buys and who was the owner of Concord then Abiola and the daily times federal government so because of that they believe that he belongs to the federal government and they came to waste our lives but God saw us through hallelujah the way we ran away from the house there was no formal meeting praise God because the first group that came he confronted them that not into politics and they said okay okay they went another group of people that came they said you know I'm not into politics he was a bold man he was an orator hallelujah and they now said okay you should give them money to go and buy petrol they went but the third one led by a woman with glasses dark glasses and said this house brought the list this house is part of the house and in the group of people somebody those somebody gave him a sign to withdraw he was one that was given sign to withdraw later my mother withdraw everybody withdraw shout hallelujah i say shout hallelujah it's my brother here that want to i want to do what you call superstar praise god and they went to go and take water to to put off the fire later and when they saw him they will have stabbed him said the person has raised up you know knife to stab him he was just expecting the knife to land the person just changed his mind said god save you today and that's how he was saved and that's how so i'm giving you this scenario that don't look at my family now look at your own family there are journeys in every family to waste glory to waste life and for you to come into christ is an opportunity to recover every lost ground every wasted glory hallelujah those who took away in captive they require from us a song they want to make jealous of us the four felt that we have conquered these people Samson power has gone and they now stunt something to sport a person making sport dance for us may you not your life not end that way in the name of jesus christ but we are here this morning to tell you that there can be deliverance from glory wasters the scripture we read yesterday we are talking about uh, david and i mean solomon solomon said when he was uh, sending message to uh, uh, to Hiram, the king of Tyre, he said, "Who happened to be the friend of his father?" He said, "My father was a man of war. He fought battles until God put his enemy under his footstool. He wanted to build us, but he could not build it." But the battle my father fought, God gave him victory. Many of you, you need to fight battle so that you can hand over victory to your children. Hallelujah. He now said, but now, God has given me rest on every side. So that there is no adversary. And there is no evil occurrence. What does that mean? David did not hand over battle to Solomon. The trouble he fought until the enemy submitted to David. God gave him rest and he did not hand over battle to his son Solomon. And that's why for 40 years Solomon had rest on every side. We are praying today so that by the time you are handling and then you're batting, you are not going to hand over, I mean hand over battle to the hands of your children. Your, your parents, many of us today, just like I, I use my family as a case study, what was handed over to us was battle. Hello? Those that my father trusted. Relations that he trusted, that he trained their children. You understand what I'm saying now? That he took care. They were the ones that were cutting yam to destroy his own children. Hello? Of the same of the same mother if they say that uh, the relationship of mother who is even thicker is that also the same mother 
elder sister, younger sister, and their siblings, they were the one that conspired together. If it is not Jesus, my life will not be turned out to what it is today. But you know the battles everybody has to fight in order to break the chains of your neck, in order to get delivered, so that you are not going to hand over battle to your whole children. So many of us, we are still fighting the first generation battle. And it is when you win this, you can hand over the peace flag to your children. They who carry us captives, they require a song. Those who wasted all. Did you see in that scripture? Are you there? Look at verse 3. For they that carry us away captive require of us a song. And they that what? Eh? that wasted us those who wasted us today you will be delivered from glory wasters in the name of jesus because i want us to pray i will just just give you some uh some areas we want to pray in luke chapter 5 verses 1 to 7 don't go there you can write it down luke chapter 5 verse 1 to 7 it is the story of Peter and uh, others who say we have labored throughout the night and we caught nothing. Is that not so? There are wasters of time. The times of your life, the days of your life have been wasted toiling because there were glory wasted who did not want your time to bring forth positively. He did not, he did not want your time to bring required results and that's why you see you can be doing the same thing over and over for several years and you are not getting results peter said we have toiled throughout the night and we caught nothing wasted night wasted days wasted years that is wasters of glory they waste people's time shout hallelujah some of you know how many times you repeated. <laughs> Praise God. Not because you don't know Buko. But somehow, during that exam, you will fail. And you have to repeat class. Because there are forces that said, you want to read, you won't read. Hallelujah. It may be time of that exam, then you fall sick. And you have no choice, you have to repeat the class. There are wasters of time. And when they are wasting your time, they are wasting your glory. Hallelujah. If you read again, the book of Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 to 24, you will see the story there. The Lord Jesus told the disciples, we are going to the other side. You are moving to the next location. Now, you go ahead. I'm going to meet you. But the Bible says that there was a tempest on the sea. The tempest on the sea. They were moving. They were moving but without progress. There are people today, you see, there are wasters of, uh, they were, they, they wait, there are wasters that keep you moving on the same spot without progress. And those are the powers you want to break forth out of your life. They were moving, they were on the sea, but they could not get to their location. Those are wasters when it comes to the progress the waste the period is supposed to have progress and of course there are wasters of resources what do i call them wasters of resources you remember remember the story of jonah in jonah chapter 1 verses 1 to 17 god told jonah go to nineveh but where did he go he went to tashish and because he was in that ship everybody that journeyed with that with Jonah at that time they lost their goods their resources were wasted because of the disobedience of one person who journeyed with them may I pray for you in the name of Jesus the journey of your life may Jonah not be part of that journey may Jonah not enter into the same boat with you so there are glory wasters those people they wasted their resources there are resources that are wasted today 
It is after you have spent it on the non-essentials, on problems, then the problem will stop. After the money you want to use to build a house, you want to use to buy land, to do something, you will have spent it on what is not. One problem will just erupt in the family. They are wasters of glory by wasting resources. Praise God. In the book of Genesis chapter 13, verse 5 to 18, there are people I call wasters of covenant. What do I call it? Wasters of covenant. That is where you see the story of Abraham and Lot. It was Abraham that God called. Of course, Lot happens to be his brother's son. He took him along. It's a cousin to Abraham. Amen. But along the line, God blessed Abraham. And of course, Lot also was blessed. But they could not dwell together because their hearts men. Those who are taking care of their animal were having problems. And Abraham said, look, the land is before us. You can separate yourself to anywhere you like. If you want to go to this place, I'll go to that place. Shoes. You know the story? The Bible says he shows waterlogged area towards Sodom and eventually he lost everything. But what am I saying is that there are, the man who had a covenant was who? Abraham. But somebody was struggling with that covenant with him. Who? Was who? Was Lord. There are wasters of covenant. If you read from verse 14 to 18, it was after Lord was separated from Abraham that God spoke to Abraham. If you look at that verse 14, if you can give it verse 14 there, Genesis 13, verse 14. And the Lord said unto Abraham, After the Lord was separated from him, lift up now thine eyes and look from the place where thou art, northwards, southwards, west, eastward, and westward. What happened? Verse 15 For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it unto thy seed forever. Shout hallelujah. Whosoever is struggling with your covenant with you, the Lord will disgrace them. Amen. God said, We are Lord thought he has picked. I did not give it to Lord, it is you that I give it. That is my covenant. I will give you the land of Canaan. And so it belongs to you, it does not belong to Lord. Hallelujah. And Lot has to be separated. My prayer for you once again is that every lot you have been carrying along in your journey, may something happen that will make that person to separate from you. Ah, he's the son of my aunt. He's the son of my sister. He's the daughter of so, so, and so, and so. Many of them, they are there to monitor. They are monitoring spirits. How many of you understand what I'm saying? The parents... They are monitoring. He is reporting what he says. The day you kill chicken, the mother will hear you kill chicken. Ah, we are, it's the chicken we kill. The day you kill turkey, <laughs> there will be reports. The day you do something. Eh, eh. So, because when they now say, ah, ah, please, so uh, send money, kiddie, kiddie, kiddie. auntie, I don't have money yet. The daughter said, we ate chicken yesterday. We ate turkey yesterday. And they are recording it against you. And so, I want to uh, counsel you anybody that God is not telling you to be part of your family let the person stay away they can be far away and you can be helping them because if you bring them into the covenant that you have and they are to destabilize that covenant I tell you covenant can be wasted during that period God did not speak to Abraham until law separated then God spoke to him lift up your eyes you are the one that have given the land and if you read that story to that verse 18 the bible said that abraham moved and he built an altar he, 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 he raised an altar to worship god and as a sign of possession is somebody getting something this morning there are wasters of destiny may your destiny never be wasted in jesus name hallelujah praise god and of course, as I begin to run off, there are wasters of our joint inheritance. The wasters of our joint inheritance. Hallelujah. These are the people you will see them. They are there like in a nation like Nigeria. The Boko Harams are wasters. 
the ISIS are wasters. Is that not so? They are there. The Al Qaeda, the terrorists, all of them, they are wasters of peace, joy, and rest. They are wasters of development. The kidnappers, they are wasters. Look at our nation today. Investors cannot come to our country because of wasters who are rampaging everywhere. Who want to come and, you know, cite a multinational company or, I mean, a project in a country where people are going about kidnapping and killing. They are a wasters. And they are wasters. And of course, our politicians also are wasters. Our joint inheritance. Our national cake. They are wasting. You can read every day. To the extent that you see, I find it difficult to read again about how they are stealing money in this country. Because which one you want to read? You hear one billion dollars? So so around there, can you come back? Can you come million dollars? And I say, I was told I want this. I said it has been in an account for five years, billions or hundreds of millions of dollars kept away because they did not want to steal it. Wait, oh, you know, they are tactics, they know if they steal it, they will find out, but they will put it on private accounts so that it can be yielding interest for five years, dollars, praise God. So that they won't say that uh, nah, this is the money now. What of the interest? But the project that we're supposed to have spent it on for us to have electricity, we will not have electricity. To have good road, we will not have good road. People will be dying on road. They are wasters of our collective inheritance. And there are people in your family also, they are wasters. They are ready to kill so that the property of your parents can belong to them alone. How many of you understand what I'm saying? They can devastate. They don't care. They will have forgotten that it's the same father and mother that gave back to you. Human being, wasted can get to any extent in order to achieve their aim. Praise the Lord. I close as we're going to pray from that Psalm 57 that we read in our Bible reading. Let's look at that Psalm 57 again. He said, verse 8. Awake up my glory. Can somebody say, Awake up my glory? Is that how much you can call your glory to shine? He said, Awake up my glory. Awake, sultry, and up. I myself will what? Awake early. We are doing this fasting and prayer because it is to tell us to awake. Are we awake early? Are we awake early? You know, there are people that wake too late. <laughs> they wake what? Too late. After the times have gone, it is then they will say, ah, they are waking up too late. Praise the Lord. As a praise the Lord. I have an uncle, I have a, well, it's a big cousin, we call him uncle. Praise God. He was saying, he was telling me, he said, when some, a lot of calamities, a lot of things began to happen. This was a person that my father trained. When he was three years, my, wife, my mom was one bathing for him, happens to be son to uh, some of these executors of evil. Praise God. But my father trained him to polytechnic level. But when so many things happened, lost one of his sons, and so many things happened, not too long lost his wife and things. Now, praise God. We were talking. He now said something to me. He said he did not realize early that how will he have trusted? Because all these people that my father put in their house. Amen. Who are the executors of all those things? Amen. When my father died, because he's older than all of us, they migrated to Ibadan here to come and stay with him. <laughs> he was now saying something. He said, I did not realize early that how would I have thought that these people where they live in the water, water side, all right? Because that place wishes move around in the day and in the night 
that she he was there praise god thank god i think it's my brother that visited that place i never visited that place up to today praise god hallelujah amen i did not go there up to today i did not go there amen even my younger brother who is in canada who came the other time who was there who went to go and swim in the river there when it was small eh? he was telling me you know, the kind of dream he began to dream later you know in life Praise God. You know, there are some out of car. He went there. They, I don't know where they went to do. I don't know why I was not there. God have mercy on me. So, some of these journeys, you know, I will not be packaged along. Amen. And they went there. You can be sure that 90, if not 100% of people in that place, they are confirmed wishes. Sir? Mommy, what a spirit. Now, now the ma- so, ma- that's my our big cousin we call Uncle now said. He said he did not realize early that. How could he knew what they were doing in that village? How could he have thought that his mother, his elder uh, my, my mother's and uh, my, the elder elder sister to the mother and all of them that he brought? How would he have thought that they, these people will be free from that witchcraft spirit? And they are the one that finished him. He's, by the time he saw it, it was too late. He has two sons. One was gone. His wife, he never enjoyed his marriage. From the day one of the marriage, problem upon problem on the wife. Hallelujah. Those are destroyer of collective inheritance. I don't know. I'm just telling you that if I am doing some prayer, if I'm preaching, I understand what I am saying. If you wake up too late, you will have lost so many grounds. And that's why you must wake up early. In Psalm 90 verse 14 to 17. Let me read that. I think it's just to crown what I am saying. There is what to call early satisfaction. The Lord will satisfy you early. I said the Lord will satisfy you early in the name of Jesus. Psalm 90, look at verse, um, uh, uh, verse, uh, let me read verse 12. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? And let you repent thee concerning thy servant. Oh, satisfy us early. Can you really read it there together? I want to go. Oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days rise to your feet satisfy us early he said lord satisfy us early early satisfaction that's why i say awake my glory you must awake this period of fasting and prayer you must awake in living holy life because if you live in sin, the enemy will catch up with you. The battle you thought has been won, they will cover ground. They will finish you. You must awake in faith. You must awake in prayer. You must awake in fasting. You must awake concerning your destiny early. You must not waste time any longer. So that you will not hand over battle to your children. You will be able to hand over the flag of peace, the flag of prosperity, the symbol of winning to your children. Lift up your two hands to heaven and say, my father, my father, my father, my father, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Everything that I have done, that I've given room for the enemy to afflict me, let the blood answer for me lord forgive me pray in the name of jesus christ that's your prayer first prayer point whatever has given the enemy ground over your life lord have mercy upon me lord have mercy upon me Whatever is given
open the enemy access to my life today oh God as a result of my disobedience as a result of my sin Lord forgive me Lord I repent today I repent today In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my Father, deliver me from transferred battle from my family line. Battle that are transferred into my life from today in the name of Jesus. Lord, deliver me. Break the yoke upon my life. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your prayer carry fire. Arise early. Arise by glory. Arise by glory. Every transfer battle from my family lineage because of the covenant of the blood of Jesus because of the altar of the cross of Calvary let this battle break let this power break let the battle come to a hand over my life it must end today it must end over my life marapo sikraba shanda kadibo regebo sikraba shanda kadibo sukrobo reni masanda kayaga bashanda kraba rebo sukrobo sindi kraba Jegedebo sukraba shanda kraba in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Pray that prayer. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Can you pray and say, Father, deliver me from the wasters of time. That is the wasters of your years, wasters of your days. You keep on doing the same thing over and over because there are waste. They want time to be gone. What you're supposed to achieve at the age of 40, they can postpone it to the age of 60. Maybe it is 60 now you are able to break a hand, you have it at 60. But they have wasted time. What we call early satisfaction that we read that we read there now has eluded you. <laughs> Praise God. I think Pastor Kenny was saying something. He said, When somebody build us at the age of 70. And you say this is what? When you build your first house at seven, you say it is just a comfort, but it's not a blessing. Abi, it is seventy. You now build and say, ah, I have built house. So say, God comfort you that at least you are able to build that before you die. But it's no longer a blessing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because. God have mercy. How many days do you want to spend in that house? I saw somebody, you know, who is about 80 and um, the daughter was telling me they live around our area, you know. The man is maybe, uh, maybe above 80. Now, they are living, I thought that they are living in their own house. And the daughter was telling me, say, well, their land is around power line that they are building, you know, uh, that they want to build. And so that they are building. <laughs> so that is it. This is a man whose wife and himself there is nothing to write home about their life you know presently and they read though if you hear the woman speaking english you know that she has traveled abroad if you see the man that think the man even retired from iit yeah because you know i, I always ask questions especially when people come around but now the first house is here to be built at 80 plus 
they are saying that they are building how many years does baba want to spend there after the children have gotten married they have gone are you getting my point now what happened that all those years of working and retirement did not translate to something good in their life wasters of time wasters of years hello and there are things also you engage in that they are wasters of your time when you're supposed to pray you will not pray when you're supposed to revive you not revive when you're supposed to do, do your work you not do work you are on social media you are what they are wasting three hours is spent looking at other people's achievements and your own achievement is nowhere to be found lift up your right hand to him say my father can you say my father in the name of jesus every wasters of my days wasters of my time program into my life i receive deliverance by fire every wasters of my time position against my life i receive deliverance by fire in the name of jesus christ early satisfaction is what i want every wasters of my days of my time of my hours whatever the devil has programmed into my life that is wasting my time lord deliver me today let the power be broken let the power be broken let the power be broken those who say that i will be losing i'll be wasting time i will not achieve early let them be wasted oh god in jesus name we have prayed all those that i've mentioned go and use to pray i've just picked some of it there are wasters of resources i want you to pray who is joining with me just like waster of resources and that of abraham is waste of destiny who are the people wasting my resources and my destiny that are programmed along my life you understand now that is making me to lose instead of winning there are business partners that are wasters there is cost upon their life you go and do business with them the cost will rub upon you you are going to pray today some people you see it is from the family where they marry that is why they use their hair to carry something hallelujah one for rico jabi praise god through marriage because there are causes thrilling their lives you must be very careful and that's why you say nobody died you know along our streets it was this morning that pastor that was telling me i said i saw the man on the streets about two days you know, before that uh, th th before that thursday have you? And then I said that uh, he was now. They said he had them saying that. He said, "You mean that is his son that killed him? His son was the one that broke something in the night, break something upon his head, and died. No way to help. He died. In fact, they have to rush him. They have to bury him, withdraw the corpse, allow police to relieve so that they can bury him that Friday. Hallelujah." and sometimes they say because that his son has mental problem and i remember that the wife of this man before he died before she died who was a prophetess also was locked up in the house until die because of mental problem now you can see the son also having mental problem killing the man killing the father he's in the police station now there are wasters who is you are going to pray that your, 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 your children will not be a waster enemy will not use your children against you and every wasters of destiny position against my life or wasters of my resources say my father my father 
Is there how much you can cry? My father, my father, deliver me by the blood of Jesus from wasters of destiny and wasters of resources. Oh, you are praying in the name of Jesus. My children will not be my enemy. Waste of destiny and waste of resources. Lord, deliver me. Wherever they are programmed, Lord, separate them from my life. 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 Whatever is programmed into the life of my children. Lord, let them be delivered now. By fire, let them be delivered. Basuka bashanda, ribu sukra bashanda kaba, zindi karabu sukra bashanda raba, ripu sika bashanda kaba. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we have prayed Like I told you My father had a shining glory There is no doubt about that Amen He's a man that there is no way he, If he had plugged himself to any way He will, he will emerge Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? I've told you about being a teacher, being this, being that, you know. If he goes to politics, anywhere he goes, he will have. When our house was born in 83, we couldn't get anything. He's not a party member. If he has been a party member, they will have, you know, give him something. Are you listening to me? So we're just now, we have to struggle through life. If I three years or four years after that, he has to die. Praise God. In his diary, he told us the story, but we read again that we are ministers today. My father will have been the first pastor in the house. He had revelation, he had dream in those days when revelation was scarce. He had a dream that he was at the seaside. Hallelujah! He was a husband of one wife. He will tell us that missionaries influence his life. You know, he's a teacher. He walk among the missionaries. Now, he said he was by the seaside. And uh, he saw two white people in a the boat. They came to the seashore. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? And they asked him to kneel down. They pour oil on him. And they give Bible to him. Is it not a call? Because by that time, some of his teaching career is among the CAC people. But he happens to be an Anglican. But do you know his excuse? His excuse was that, ah, if I become a CAC person now. You know the CAC is the gospel then. Praise God. He said, if I come to CAC and leave Anglican, he's a secretary in his church. He said, apart from that, he said, my children are, are, are young. You know CAC, don't use mercy. Use mercy. I don't use mercy. So how can I join CAC now? This and that. That's why. Now, the man of God that I told who came many, many years that we were praying together here, he said, your father, he did not know all the story. He said, your father had called. But because he refused to answer that call, that God decided not to take that anointing from the family. He transferred it to you children. Can you see mercy? Hallelujah. What he's supposed to do and hand over to us but because he did not take step and God mercy said I will not take that anointing from the family I transfer it to the children as many of them that can operate in that direction so if I'm a preacher today if I'm a pastor today hallelujah is mercy of God that grace will have been shifted from my family are you there to pray this morning ah, I, okay this is my story look at your own story I want you to pray you will pray that I refuse to hand the way my, the way my father handed. I refuse to hand the way my mother handed. 
I refuse to stop. It may be they are still alive, but the power is gone. I refuse to stop where they stop. Let the power of resurrection pull me out and give me speed. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. By mercy, O oh Lord. How I wish you can pray more than this. It is a prayer time now. Tell the Lord, I will not hand the way my parents ended. Even if they are alive, where they stop, I will not stop there. Let the power of God move me forward. Lord, grant me speed in the journey of life and destiny. Grant me speed, O oh God. Masokra bashanda kaye, reposin di kabo, rakaya kabashanda raba. Pray for yourself in the name of Jesus. Lord, grant my life speed. Move my life forward. Move my life forward in the name of Jesus. Ojek badura, ojek badura. I work my glory. I myself will awake early. I awake early. I awake early before it is too late. Koto you for the day. I awake early. Oh, far koto ra mo. Bo se mbu yon julo njabo. Bo se mbu yon julo njabo. Tell the Lord. Today, oh God. I separate myself from every lineage causes, every struggle in my family line. I separate myself. I separate myself. I separate myself. In Jesus mighty name we pray. You are going to pray? Are you tired of praying? You say my father. Deliver me. From collective captivity. Of my family line. Deliver me. From the collective captivity. Of my bloodline. You remember Jabez? There was a collective capi, cap, 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 captive, cap, I mean, captivity of poverty. God deliver him. What is that? Listen, you know, I always want you to pray with knowledge. Now, there can be collective captivity of sickness. Somebody died with cancer. Your father died with cancer. Your mother had cancer. Your auntie said cancer. You discover that there is a kind of a bloodline sickness or disease. Abi? At times, it is that they will labor in the morning, you know, they will succeed in the morning. By the, the afternoon of their life, the glory is departed. It may be the evening of their life, you will not see this glo- the traces of the glory of the beginning. It becomes story. You are going to pray collective captivity of my bloodline because of the covenant of the blood of Jesus. I separate myself, not you alone. I separate my children from it. I separate all my offsprings from it. I cut off from that bloodline. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Collective captivity of my bloodline. Lord, I separate myself from it. In the name of Jesus. I separate my, my, my wife. I separate my children. I separate my family. I separate my family. Collective captivity. Of my bloodline, I separate myself from it. What is killing them shall not kill me. What is expiring their destiny will not expire my destiny. I separate myself from the collective captivity of my bloodline, of my bloodline. By the blood of the new covenant. I separate myself. 
I separate my children. I separate my children. Maraposi kraba janda kapa sadaka yakaba reke bosi kraba janda kaba rapaso kraba janda kraba fi tarak badura fi tarak badura ki bokba gwara rema badura. In the name of Jesus, collective captivity of my bloodline. Hey, I separate myself. What they, what is binding them? What is killing them? Shall not kill me. Where they expire, the expiration of glory. My glory will not expire. My glory will not expire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Repa sandaka ya masonde kaye reke basandaka raposi kraba yeke ni mashandaraba re masinde kaye masonde kraba shandaraba raposi kraba ye ni masandaka yagaba. Jesus name we pray you will say it three times awake my glory awake my glory wait awake my glory you say my glory well, after you say three times my glory arise by fire hello wherever it is buried it must come out wherever it is already wasted it must come out are you ready to pray one to go awake my glory Awake my glory. Awake my glory. Where my glory come out and begin to shine. Come out by fire. The glory of my life. Awake my glory. The glory of my family. Awake my glory. In the name of Jesus. Awake my glory. Awake my glory. In the name of Jesus. Let my glory begin to shine. Awake my glory. Awake my glory. Awake my glory. In the name of Jesus. Awake my glory. Rapa sanda kaya kaba, zeke ni mason de kaba, raka bashanda kaya kaba. Awake my glory, my glory arise, begin to shine, take your place in destiny. In the name of Jesus, mareka bosi kaba, zeke ni mason de kaya kaba. Awake my glory, awake my glory, awake my glory, awake my glory. In the name of Jesus, awake my glory. My glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You are going to talk to God. That place we read in that Psalm 90 or so, he said, No, Psalm, uh, what do I call it? It's not 57. Psalm, Psalm 90. I am right. Psalm 90. Psalm 90 says, Satisfy us early with your mercy. Hello? How many people want to pray that prayer? Lord, early satisfaction in my marital life, in the life of my children. It is not good that you have children. They are now, you know, they are now 28 your daughter 30 they are not married if that is not there is nothing early early satisfaction there are you coming up now but because that is how your own journey said my worry emi gan kin to marry 32 ni me 35 ni me o fe transfer and see no eye your mind you want to transfer your own journey as if that it, it i mean 
that that is beauty we are saying what you suffer your children must not suffer it oh he says satisfy us early you are going to tell god and say god give me early satisfaction in my career in my skill in my family life in my destiny how many want to pray that prayer you are going to call the name of jesus three times and you now say god give me early satisfaction shall we pray in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus come on begin to pray lord give me early satisfaction all your promises let them come to pass it must not be delayed miracles happen every day men speak of god greatness give me a testimony and a bright new song to sing early satisfaction give me lord i pray let your grace shine upon me in season and not too late early satisfaction give me lord i pray make me a testimony for generations to come god give me early satisfaction give me early satisfaction in every aspect of my life early satisfaction pray for your children early satisfaction early satisfaction let them achieve earlier than myself early satisfaction in the name of Jesus. let them shine for in high places early satisfaction in my career early satisfaction supernatural intervention for early satisfaction in jesus name we pray we're going to pray the last prayer but listen to this you know you know so many information comes online on social media there are a lot of preachers they will want to counter what you are saying. like i said somebody said you don't need to pray in the name of jesus uh, somebody can say they can say why do you pray all this fire prayer it is not necessary jesus has won for us we should just claim it we just claim it praise god they don't understand what they are saying oh they said now so so and so is not a christian and is rich uh, the person who has facebook who are, you know what do you call his name i'm exactly that all of them they don't know jesus and then they are raised thank god he has money even it's not the matter it's a matter of work it's, you know if you do this and let me tell you what they are saying is half truth but there are people that labor at the beginning of their life but they cannot gather that riches at the end of their life is somebody uh, you me? where you need to they don't understand you can walk you can have ideas and make the money but at the end of you are rich but i tell you you don't know myself and my wife were still talking that somebody was saying until when he began to give out it is then he was able to have joy the rich people don't have joy you. hello they are running is to keep on number first richest person they are made the richest person the second richest person the third richest person they are no they have no rest and that's how they have to join one cult or the other in order to maintain the status quo those christians who are saying hey, so so and so and so he's not a christian he did this and that he made this hey, so so and so and so he's not a christian he did this and that and are you listening to me am i why we're analyzing when we were reading i was telling her that the md the ceo of uh, access bank Abi, access bank eh, just died two days ago with his wife with his son and about three other four people in california the helicopter crashed maybe shatter flight and you say you are not going to pray hello i will begin now to analyze those that we know as christians 
even if they are Christianity, at least who identify to be Christian, who are who were CEO of banks, did they not disgrace them from the office? All the intercontinental, you remember. Is he not a pastor, Akimbola? In redeem the oceanic bank woman. Eh? Are they not Christian? It's a member of MFM, it's a member of Redeem at the same time. Praise God. Now, what is it that they refuse to do? Why the mistake of some of them they use them as scapegoats? But those who are in their covens, who are in their clay, are you listening to me now? They will not touch them. But because at times when you get to a place like that, some prayer they're supposed to pray, they may not pray it. They think that ah, what are we? It's not that high now. Let me tell you what sustained glory is the prayer. You should have the glory, but what will make you to remain there is prayer. That man now they kill him. I mean, sorry, he died, his wife died, his son died in one day. And you said that ah, it is the will of God. God give it, God take it. Glory be to the name of the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. What did he? What happened? There are forces. So when you want to rise, then you must sustain yourself in the place of rising. Is somebody not getting me? I want you to pray this last prayer. We stay long like this because you know it's a fasting and prayer. We are not coming back in the evening. We need to pray. So that if you want to go and break after now, you can go and break. You have grace. Praise God. And then your prayer is answered. Shout hallelujah. I want you to talk to God. You will tell God. God. I want you to lift off my head. Cause me to rise in high places. And Lord, give me grace to stand. When I rise, give me the power that will hold me. That I will not fall. Do you understand that prayer? Oh yeah, begin to pray in the Lord Jesus Christ. I want the pastors to please come. I want the pastors to please come. I want the pastors to please come. Please come. Line up like this. Face me. Face me. Face me. Face me. Face me. Line up. Line up. Straight line. And spread to the back. Spread to the back. I know what I'm doing. Maybe you have to shift the camera. Yeah. Praise God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Now, it's a covenant. I want to pray now on the altar. All of us cannot come to the altar at the same time. I want you to now join your hands the way we did last Sunday. Move closer, please. Join your hand with someone and join your hands with the hands of these pastors. Yeah. Join your hand with the pastors. Make sure you join your hand with the pastors. Join your hand, join your hand with somebody. Yeah. Kawa ku kawa. They will me. Oh, yeah, put your hand on them. Come. Watch it for what's saying now. What do you want? Eh, let yes. Aha. Let owa ku kawa ku join hand. Ku join hand. Ku join hands. Praise God. Eh, inquire. Eh, spread it. Let's say, you know, I want my mark. Can you make one body right? Kelly, do you want I want all hands to be joined. We are, we are connecting to this altar. We are connecting to this altar. Praise God. Um, somebody spread. Yeah. 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 Then yeah, yeah. join their hands. Now you bring your hand. Hallelujah. 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 I told you that interpreter, are you still there? I told you that altar speaks. And when we talk about altar, we are not talking about this place. But what is in this place? Are you getting my point? Not this altar alone. There is something to one be. We don't need to bury something like people are burying something before we know something is here. There is what called the altar of the cross of Calvary. 
And that is what this altar represents here. And the altar of the cross of Calvary was where Jesus was crucified. Jesus was raised, no, he was not crucified on, on the ground. It was on the hill. That was all the, one of the mistakes of the devil. It was on the hill. An altar was raised for the Son of God to die. And through his death, redemption is purchased for us. Is somebody getting me? Can they? Oh, yeah. Move, 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 move. Join your hands. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout hallelujah. And so, this is the altar that speaks to our life. The altar of the cross of Calvary. I want you to pray this morning. You are going to pray. Say, my father, let this altar speak to my life. Let this altar speak mercy. Speak favor by the blood of Jesus. Come on, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Maso kraba shanda ka yagaba, reposi ka debosi ka yagaba, ready maso kraba shanda ka yagaba. Let this order speak to the lives of your people. Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Maraka ba shanda ka yagaba shanda raba, reposi ndeka ya. Speak mercy, speak favor, speak mercy, speak mercy. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You are going to beg God. It is it's, it's a. We play. I don't want to use. I don't want to use the word. We call it slang. You know, in PFN among the core executives with our chairman, God has helped him. And God is helping people, but he always say that Ah, I want to be alone. I want to be alone. be alone. If some people are begging God, and God is building a house for them, if some people are begging God, and God is opening door for them. You will, what are you? Will you not beg God? On the altar, we beg on the altar. Unbelievers, they go to shrines to go and beg. Is that not so? We will beg God. He said, I will have mercy upon whom I will have mercy. If God does not show you mercy, can show your neighbor mercy now. But when you beg God, that God, I don't have any other place. You are the only one in the economy money. You are the only one I have. I want you to beg God on this altar. You are connected to this altar now. Which is the altar of the cross of Calvary. Let this altar, the blood of Jesus, the mercy of Calvary, attend to my life. Lord, I am begging you for mercy. I am begging you for favor. Lord, let there be a new song. Let there be supernatural accomplishment. Oh, you are praying in the name of Jesus Christ. Oluwa, mo wa ni ese agbelebo, mo wa ni pepe agbelebo. I'm at the altar of the cross. Let there be a new story. Let there be a new song in my life. Lord, I beg you, oh God, attend to my cry. Use me, Lord. Raise me up. Ki aye mi ko jasieri oro aye mi ko jasieri oro aye mi ko mu eri dani ah ah ka won yan ko ti pase mi gbe oruko rega the people will glorify god tell god let there be open door let there be open door let there be open door in your business open door in your career open door your international travel open door the lord by this altar Oh Lord Jehovah God, let this altar speak to my life. Let it speak solution. Let it speak lifting. Pray more. Pray more. Pray more. Mercy. 
mercy upon me your life of your of your children lord let me speak for my children let them be settled let them be settled in all the areas of their lives let there be mercy upon my wife let there be mercy upon me O oh lord lord i beg you make our life a testimony cause us to rise in high places in the name of jesus let this altar speak to our lives in the name of jesus by this altar every negativity is crossed out of your life the altar of the cross cross out sickness labor without success the altar of the cross of Calvary that we are standing upon cross out shame cross out debts cross out every lost glory from today on this altar father in the name of God the Father in the name of God the Son in the name of God the Holy Spirit all that you have asked for on this altar to the receive let it be made manifest I say receive let it be made manifest let your life shine let your life shine let your life manifest the glory of the risen Christ in the name of Jesus early satisfaction it alone near cocoa your talk or do I hear a cone if you show one in the shop but why it but what jory thought if you show oh yeah my back by that alone to run out your father for any to run out your father for any to write back by the friend no look or get all right oh yeah you're a father my back by that nipa you're a father oh yeah my back by that no look or just my back by that but but do I but no look or jesus christy be on what in betty and me and belay bobo go at in the one tomba on in a joe more part part more passion oh yeah my father every collective captivity break by fire break by fire break by fire we are your parents your family we are your generation where they have ended you will not end there every bloodline troubles from today by the blood of you are separated in the name of you are separated receive favor receive mercy let your glory arise and begin to shine in the name of god the father in the name of god the son in the name of god the holy spirit so shall it be so shall it be so shall it be for in jesus name i pray